Bonjour tout le monde and welcome to Musings of Fox et bienvenue à la deuxième partie de ma série sur mes vacances en France. This video is to serve more as a guide of how to take your local style and give it a European translation. If I was just going to give you the stealthiest outfit possible for France, I would recommend a really good solid pair of mom jeans, high-waisted kind of baggy jeans, and a simple vintage 90s USA t-shirt, um, just like a white Tommy Hilfiger kind of shirt or some band from the 90s, and the cleanest pair of chunky white tennis shoes you own. But they have to be clean and pristine because even though this is Fran's casual style, it still has to be extremely fashionable so they have to be the nicest, cleanest pair of shoes you've ever seen. And that's why this video is not about that outfit. This video is about plus size style in France that is a little bit American but also very, very international European. And I'm going to take you city by city. But first, obviously, I want to give a disclosure and that all of these outfits, save for one top, <laughs> were kindly gifted to me by the brand City Chic. I let them know that I was going to France and I wanted to do a video on a brand that I feel is all-encompassing one-stop shop for excellent plus-size clothes. And so I reached out to City Chic and they said, heck yes, please take our clothes to France. And so that is these, this video. So these outfits are all kindly gifted and I just want to let you guys know that ahead of time I'm not being paid for this video. Video. Don't I wish this was sponsored? It's not sponsored. The clothes were just provided by City Chic and I picked them. I did all the styling and everything. That's all me. So just letting you know that I did not have to pay for these clothes, but I have I've given to City Chic quite a bit. My my closet is very full of their <laughs> of their good goodies. But I just thought, what is one brand that I know has everything from casual to going out fancy? evening dress because I was going to France for my 30th birthday and it was very important to me that I had really great outfits but I wanted that really special exceptional dress and not just that but also an exceptional dress for my mom and so that is what I'm really excited you will see that a little bit later in the video but I also got a dress from Say Chic for my mom who I'm allowed to disclose is 67 years old so this brand is not just for 20 and 30 somethings this brand is for plus size people across the age spectrum so let's Let's head to France, shall we? For this first outfit, I want to show you the dress that I absolutely lived in while I was visiting Cannes. Cannes is a beautiful city, obviously world-renowned for their film festival that we were there just a few weeks before, renowned for their gorgeous beaches. It is the French Riviera. It is a gorgeous high-end town. But it's also a very old town, so I wanted to pack something where it was very, very beach-friendly, but also something that I could wear and take while I explored. And on one of those explorations, we actually did a hike up a hill in the city to this very old church and that's where this footage is taken. It is overlooking the Mediterranean Sea and this dress is fantastic. The key thing to take with you to Cannes is something that is technically a swim cover-up. So this is like sold as a swim cover-up dress but it also has pockets. So that's just great. Not something that's just, you know, throwing over your swimsuit, but it also has pockets, it's functional, it looks like a dress. No one thought it was just my swim cover-up, which is usually like a sheer kind of robe thing. This was my swim cover-up, so I would pack my beach bag for the day at the hotel, have my swimsuit on, throw this on over, walk across the street to the beach. That's how spoiled I was. I picked a hotel, a Marriott, right across from the beach. So it was the tiniest of walks, hang out at the beach for a few hours, throw this dress back on, cinch it with a belt that I picked up at Torrid, and then head out to lunch. And I could just spend my day like that, popping into the pool, popping into the sea, which was kind of freezing. We were there in April, and that's April's not the time to dip into the sea. Beautiful weather-wise, just not to go into the sea. Um, but I could just relax knowing that I had a beautiful dress that would let me get into any restaurant I wanted. I didn't look like a mess coming fresh from the beach. I looked well put together and it was just phenomenal. It's so comfy and lightweight. I've lived in it most of the summer. It's actually sitting right next to me. 
<laughs> dirty from romping around. I also love that it has like a textured fabric. It looks beautifully made. It's not just a little cotton dress. It has this beautiful flow and texture to it. So it was just really lovely. It's just a great kind of heavy weight as well so it wasn't blowing up everywhere. I never had to worry about it. And it took me up a good sweaty um, medieval, <laughs> medieval flight of stairs. And yeah, I paired it with these boots that I picked up from Ugg. So it was just really a lovely, great workhorse outfit that I took all over romping all over Cannes and into Bordeaux. Um, and I have just loved it all summer long. And I'm gonna look forward to it to fall. You can layer a nice little shirt underneath it to give you some like cooler weather protection. But this was just a wonderful dress. I already have a big smile on my face just about to talk about this next dress because I just kind of looked at the footage of it. And um, <laughs> there's a little moment, I'm gonna include the actual audio of it um, from it. Um, in just a sec, but this dress I also wore in Cannes and Bordeaux. It was a really great multi-area kind of dress. It fit both regions really well. Um, it is a bit sexy in that that front cage thing um, would otherwise show my bra. So I did slip on a tube top from Forever 21 underneath for a bit of modesty um, because Bordeaux is a little bit... Um, being more inland, it's not a like seaside beachy town, whereas Cannes is a very tourist heavy area. They have people coming from all over the world to Cannes, and so they're open to a lot more styles. It's also very warm, very beachy, so exposed skin is not an issue there. Bordeaux is a little bit more of like an actual city that people truly live and work in, not in a tourist manner. So I wanted to be a bit more covered up there. Also, Bordeaux is where my husband's family lives, so we were visiting them, and that's just just not something I wanted to show his grandmother. <laughs> she is a very um, French free artistic kind of woman. That's just a lot. And so I just added the little tube top. It just adds, it lets the um, beauty um, construction of the cage show through and without having to show too much of me. Um, but I love this dress. It is kind of like a handkerchief style dress, but it just has so much more fabric and it is quite heavy actually. So it was perfect for Bordeaux, which was a little bit cooler. Um, <laughs> the reason I'm so smiling and laughing about this is there is a moment where we're in front of the opera here filming this little outfit and it's a very twirly kind of fun dress so I'm just having a really great time on a walk through the city with my husband and we stopped and decided to film the dress here and there is some young girl I don't know if she, where she's from you can't tell from a, <laughs> from a distance but she is just kind of taken with the fact that I am just twirling and having a really great time alright there we go You might have had a couple of gawkers in the background. It's really nice to see a girl who's obviously like a straight size looking at a plus size girl just having a good time and it, I didn't feel laughed at. It was just more just like, oh, that's interesting. Maybe it was like, a, oh my gosh, a YouTuber in the wild in terms of someone filming themselves like that. But you know, I, I, I liked the appreciation, the smile on like her parents' face. That just really was a cute little moment where my husband was like, hey. Got some, got some people watching you. And you know what, I was just totally loving it. Um, the people of Bordeaux are fantastic and no one made me feel like a weirdo for filming in front of this great, beautiful opera house. So yeah, this is just <laughs> a little moment I really loved from the trip because when you go and you travel and you're trying to document your outfits, you sometimes feel weird. And this was just a place where I just, you know, I got someone's attention, obviously, but in a really positive, wonderful way, so I really just like having that moment captured. You know what I love about Seychique is that they are very conscious in their designs for plus-size bot. Oh, hold on, there's a hair on my nose. Is that a castor or a hope? Not quite sure. Two white cats. <laughs> but I, I just love how City Chic designs very consciously for a plus size body, but also wants to show off a plus size body like any other size body. And I really appreciate that. I never thought that I would have dresses like this that were, you know, showing off all of this kind of stuff, saying, hey, your body is just as gorgeous, your size is just as gorgeous, you should have a dress like this. And so it's just really fantastic to have dresses that make me feel really beautiful, sexy, and twirly. 
and not like, hey, you need to wear a sack dress and hide in the corner. This is just a dress that lets me show off, it makes me feel good and want to show off, and I just think that every plus size person deserves an outfit that makes them feel that way. So I'm going to do a short little interlude spot here where I mentioned that I also took two incredible swimsuits from City Chic with me to Cannes, of course. Um, I didn't take any footage of the swimsuits just because I really wanted at least, I didn't want to feel like I was working my entire vacation and so I wanted just the beachier moments to just be, you know, a nice cool calm thing with my husband and just relaxing. Um, and so I actually, but we ended up getting these beautiful shots <laughs> on the beach in Cannes and some funny ones where that freezing cold water came up and smacked me on the butt. Um, so I have some photos to show you guys of those. The first one is this great ruffle two-piece um, bikini from City Chic. I have one, a one-piece similar like it that I did for the Madonna Inch shoot. If you guys happen to catch that video that I did last year with my bestie Cora, um, we did a shoot with City Chic swimsuits at the Madonna Inn. So when I was going to Cannes, I was like, oh, I need another ruffle top. <laughs> Um, and so it was just nice because it just felt very Mediterranean and it was just really wonderful to be in Cannes um, because the French Riviera, all of those beaches are really body positive. A lot of them are, actually I didn't see anyone this time, but a lot of French beaches are nudity approved appropriate um, beaches and so people just really don't care what your body looks like. It's the one place where I didn't have to be like, oh my gosh, how who's going to point and stare and laugh? French people in the Riviera, they don't care. <laughs> just don't interrupt their sun tanning, don't get sand on them, and you're good. And so it was just really lovely to just get to feel beautiful and just feel like the magical mermaid that I am um, in this swimsuit on the beach. The next suit um, is actually a just color switch on a suit that Cora wore in that Madonna Inn video. So you can check out the movement of that swimsuit there. Um, I just couldn't resist having that same kind of color block pop neon swimsuit, but I just want to make sure that I had a different suit than my best suit. Let her have her moments with that beautiful uh, teal and pink suit. And then I had my moments with the mango version. I took photos at, at the rooftop pool at our hotel. And again, no one gave me any weird side except for the fact that I kind of did like a photo shoot in my swimsuit. That was slightly stranger to them. But it was just really wonderful to just get to be in a place where I didn't, no one cared that I was in a two-piece as a chunky gal. It just felt really good to just get to be myself. Now people on the internet, when I post of these photos have been worse than anyone in France ever could have tried to be. Um, but that's a different that's a different story. That's just the internet for you folks. Um, which is probably another reason why I decided not to do footage because when you do footage in a swimsuit it just can, it goes two different ways and I just didn't need any of those in this video that I am making for those who would be wearing these clothes, not for anyone who might enjoy or very much not enjoy seeing a plus size person in a swimsuit. Get my meaning. I just, I love their suits. They're just so beautiful and just different than the suits that I get other places. They really are like, no, 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 you have a plus size body, you can wear a bikini. And, but they also give you the same patterns typically in a one piece as well. So if you're just not there yet or you just don't want to show off that much skin, you can still get these beautiful patterns in both kinds of versions. So that's really wonderful. But yeah, so that's just a quick interlude of here's these great suits I took. Sorry there's no footage of them, but I still had a really good time with them. I hope that's palpable. <laughs> I can't necessarily say this next outfit is the most French appropriate, um, but it was definitely an outfit that is true to me, and that is this gorgeous little play suit romper from City Chic. Um, I mostly wore it in Cannes because it was just, as you can kind of see, stormy in Bordeaux. There is a time and a place to be wearing this in Bordeaux, and it was just not there at that time. So even though I'm filming this outfit in Bordeaux, it was a bit more of a Cannes outfit, but I honestly am just so in love with rompers right now. It just feels so good to show off my body in a really fun way, and this one just was giving me kind of 1920s vibes so being on a like really old <laughs> so being in a really old city like can and wearing this modern take on a 1920s style outfit I just felt so perfect I was just living my fat girl dreams and just looking cute it was really just wonderful to be in a 
outfit that just kind of nodded to another time in a city that is so old and I just felt really beautiful and I'm actually because my hair is pink now I'm really just getting back into my love of like baby pinks and like rose gold kind of colors it was just doing things and giving me a shape that was fun to play with I really like outfits that let me play with my body shape rather than always giving me one stock look and so this was fun to just kind of play with an hourglass figure and you know then I can take it off and try a different figure so this is just a really fun just effervescent kind of outfit for me to just feel my oats and um, it just photographed beautifully too which is always a plus it's always great when you have an outfit that makes you feel good and then the photos and everything of it just look good as well so you're not like in was I crazy did I why did I leave the house like this it's just a really fun beautiful place it's super breezy in the arms which I love because you know when you have big arms it's just nice to have open arms and be able to be cute and not feel like you're being squeezed to high heaven so yeah so this video slice is filmed in our Paris hotel, but I got this dress actually for Bordeaux. I wanted a nice evening dress to wear at dinners with Joel's family, and I love that Cité Chic does this cut of dress in a variety of colors. So this was obviously a very springy, pinky one. This dress just made me feel like a Renaissance painting goddess come to life, and it was just really beautiful. I had, you know, a bit of cleavage, but not a family inappropriate amount. I love that it was off the shoulder but I still had the support um, of the straps here. It has um, a very fitted non-stretch waist and I just love the kind of like faux wrap skirt and it was just a beautiful dress. I also did wear it in Paris of course because I'm, I'm not gonna skip an opportunity to wear such a beautiful dress in multiple places. I really love this outfit. I think this is the most me of any of the outfits in terms of like most daily me. And that is like, a, it's a blend of my witchy side with a take on what's popular in France right now, which is a very 90s heavily influenced style. So when I have the opportunity to pair this cute little like overall dress from City Chic with a proper traditional French striped shirt. Everyone thinks of striped shirts when they think of France and this is the brand Orceval which is actually the brand that made the shirts for the French Navy. And then when I found the proper French stripey shirt in peach, you know I had to scoop it up as fast as I could. I also got it on extreme sale. They're usually like $100 shirts and I scooped it up for $30. So I was excited. That. <laughs> but this is one of my favorite pieces I have ever bought. This overall dress is just so cute and it can just be dressed up in so many ways that is very 90s, very witchy, um, but also by adding that pastel color it doesn't come off as too much of like um, straight gothic style. So it was just really fun to get to blend different halves of myself into this outfit. This video is also taken in the Tuileries Garden and that is my favorite spot in all of Paris. It's it's just, I'm actually getting a little emotional thinking about it, which is so, <laughs> which is so unnecessary. It always looks beautiful. There were duckies wandering around, which you know I tried to make friends with. And so it was just beautiful. This is also on my birthday. So I was 30 and I was feeling myself in my favorite spot in Paris. It was just a beautiful day, the perfect outfit for that. And so obviously I have a lot of joy for it. Um, but it's just really wonderful when you can go somewhere and wear something that feels very you and not feel like you stick out like a sore thumb. There's always ways to take your style and do it in a, in a foreign place where you are acknowledging that foreign place and that's just kind of how I really love to travel, where I kind of adapt to where I'm going, but still keep it myself. That way some people kind of look at you, but it's not kind of like, what are you doing? It's more of like the, hmm, I'm intrigued. And some people ask and they want to learn more, and you know, some people are just kind of like, hmm, okay. I'm definitely one of those people, like, I like to catch people's eye. I obviously have a YouTube channel because I like attention. Who doesn't like attention? But it's just nice to be able to do do me in a foreign place while also doing a little bit of them and just blending the two and just it's just it feels so good to 
not have to worry and turn heads in a way that I like. I know not everyone wants to turn heads and that's fine, but when I already have colored hair and colored hair is just not mainstream over there, I'm already going to be turning heads. So my thing is, if I'm going to turn your head, I'm going to at least make it worth your while. <laughs> so we have come to the piece de resistance or the de pièces de resistance section of this video and that is the birthday night dresses. Um, I'm first going to show you my mom's look. She picked out this beautiful bedazzled gauzy dress from City Chic and I just love that at 67 my mom gets to finally wear the kind of dresses that plus size women deserve. Um, I'm really thinking about having a video where I have my mom come on and talk about plus size fashion and also just makeup through the ages because I said my mom is 67 so she got to be a teenager in the 60s and a little bit in the 70s and so she's definitely seen things change massively when it comes to plus size fashion and it was just so wonderful to be able to gift her the experience of having this dress sent for her to wear to look glamorous in Paris. You know it's one thing when you go with your daughter for her 30th birthday to this foreign city and it's really exciting but it's nice when you know she knew I was gonna dress up because she's used to me getting gussied up all the time but it was nice to get to like do that for her and have her wear this dress and have her get to feel beautiful while out on the town with her daughter and so it was just a really lovely experience and I can't thank City Chic enough for wanting to not only dress me for my birthday but also to dress my mother and it's just it was such a beautiful experience and oh, yeah <laughs> and it was just nice and and she just loves this dress and she loves um, just the options that there are for plus size now. She gets to just be herself and have these clothes that make her feel beautiful and that just means the world to me. You know I've been very spoiled in that I get to come of age as plus size fashion was getting better and I get to live my 30s in such beautiful clothes um, and have like such a massive bounty of beautiful clothes um, but you know just having my mom know you know have had to live through the years of moo moos and just the most unflattering un this most disrespectful of designs and just get to see her like thrive in such a beautiful city in such a beautiful dress just meant a lot to me. She's learning how to model on camera. Um, it's just, it's, it was just a very sweet, lovely um, thing to get to do with my mom. And so to the final outfit of the video, and that is the dress I got to wear on my 30th birthday in Paris, which is just, that was a really lovely thing to get to do for myself. You know, 30 has always felt like it's going to be supposedly a daunting age and how dare, and honestly, I feel better at 30 than I did at 16. I just feel so much more myself, so much happier in just who I am and what I'm doing with myself in the world. And this was just a showstopper of a dress. We went to this beautiful little restaurant um, off the Seine. Turns out it was a restaurant that was featuring Gossip Girl which was like oh my gosh oh my gosh. <laughs> Didn't know that till after we ate there but that was just a beautiful little coincidence um, and like the staff there were just so wonderful. I got free champagne for it being my birthday which is just amazing at like an upscale restaurant on the Seine. I mean I was just <laughs> I was floored, but it just, I felt really beautiful. Um, this dress is just gorgeous. It has three layers to the skirt, so it has this beautiful volume. There's like a tulle layer, there is like a little silky chemise layer underneath, you know, to protect you from the scratches of the tulle, and then there's just the beautiful lace overlay, and it's just a, you know, really well-made structured dress. Um, I'm gonna let you in on a secret, I went sans untergarments. <laughs> We're getting trilingual in this video, um, in this dress, and I felt well supported. I hate strapless bras, and I just didn't want to deal with that, and this dress has a lovely bit of, um, structure in it, so I didn't have to wear a bra with it, and so I got to just really feel very free and beautiful, and yeah, it's just a really fantastic dress. I love a good red dress, um, that didn't just feel, like, overtly sexy. It was sexy in how I wore it. It was sexy in the detailing and the beauty and the construction of it. So that was just, it, it just, 
yeah. I couldn't take, stop taking enough selfies and photos in this dress, and I just felt like an absolute princess. D'accord, tout le monde. So that is it for this What I Wore in France video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a beautiful time on my trip, and that was in no small part thanks to these clothes that just made me feel really spectacular. I do have a few other outfits I wore. Some of them were just so not even possible to buy anywhere that I didn't want to show them off and be like, here's this great thing I wore and you can't have it. And that just felt kind of icky. But if you want to check out those outfits, those are on my Instagram at Musings of a Fox. One of them is this great witchy thing and I was by this like church from like the 1100 and I just, I really like that. <laughs> Um, but so that is it for the second part of these Vacation in France um, series. The third one, which will be about my experiences being a plus size person in France, that will be coming um, a third video from now. I'm trying to space out the French video so it's not just France, 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 France. I think that video is really important because I am a member of a bunch of different groups about plus size folks traveling and the main one I see about France is how scared people are to go, how judged they feel or are scared of going to feel and you know I just have being someone who speaks fluent French I have a very different perspective and maybe a little insight into the French mindset and so I just think that's really important to share with you guys so that will be coming up and then the second video is I'm so excited okay should I tell you now or should I tell you later I get to go to LA with Cora for an extremely exciting event for me I mean I'm just I'm so I can't even fathom what is happening in it, and so I will be making a video on that <laughs> for you guys, and I think it's going to be a really exciting video to give you guys a behind the scenes or just behind the curtain kind of a thing, so yeah. So I will see you guys, as always, next time. Bye!